Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and you kids, too. Today, we're at Dos Palmos Preserve. Dos Palmos Preserve is very unique. It's not one of the first springs that we've ever found in the valley, but it is so great because it still has pupfish in it, and we're trying to get pictures of the pupfish. There goes one, two, all three, four, baby. Do you see him? Dos Palmos Preserve can be found by going south of Mecca on Highway 111 to North Shore and taking a road up across it from the state park gate up through a little village, make a right turn, then down the road a little bit, make a left turn, and you'll follow the signs up to Dos Palmos Preserve. Hiking here in the Dos Palmos trails, their trails are very well maintained. It's not something that a wheelchair can manage, though. Dos Palmos is very unique. The pupfish were found in here in the year 1888. Pupfish were found in other springs in the valley, but I cannot trace which one had the first pupfish. And I'm thinking that 1888 sure puts these fish being probably one of the first in the valley. My dad did his thesis on the pupfish back in the 50s. Being a 10-year-old, I wasn't too excited about it, but boy, do I wish now I had paid more attention to what he was doing studying the pupfish. We're looking down into the pond here where the pupfish are, and some of them are not pupfish. They're like sharks. They're so big, and there are babies all over in here. It's really exciting. They're putting on a show for us. They may even do a song and dance number if we are real patient. Some of them are really large fish. Here comes a big school from the left. Folks, you're looking at the real McCoy. on a real good show for us folks this is really something we met someone coming up the trail and they said they didn't see any fish but they didn't know what they were looking for either You can find pupfish throughout the valley at different springs, and I suggest going to Living Desert, where the fish there were planted by Fish and Game, to protect them. Thousand Palms has fish there, which are both natural and planted. Oasis Springs, which is down the road a little ways, has fish that were planted. These are all to protect them. Borrego Springs has fish there that were planted. For protection. Uh, this spring here, gosh, I think that some of the fish are going to, you know, go back generations and also planted to protect the species because they are becoming very rare. There are reports of the pupfish being in the Salton Sea down at the other end of the sea, but I am afraid that they're going to find that they're mosquito fish, which look very similar to pupfish. I'm standing on uh, one of the trees that has fallen here. All around me here, the trees are, are getting old and falling. That's just the natural order of things. But we find hundreds of young palm trees that are taking their place. 
Dos Palmos Palms is a place that you definitely want to come to, bring in your lunch and water. But if you bring it in, folks, please take it out with you. Oh, and uh, I'll come and show you the fish. This is Conrad Vargas, the old desert naturalist. I'm signing off from the Dos Palmos Preserve Palms. Come and visit them. They're just gorgeous.